Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Time is 739. Most of us don't think about our refrigerators too much. That is until they don't work. Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowl has a frustrating story of two failed fridges and then who finally solved the problem. And we're talking about months and months, not a couple weeks, but again, months of wow. frustration built up as the Butler family's refrigerator refused to work. So in despair, they called call for action, not once, but twice. Let's see how it all unfolded. This is the refrigerator that we wanted, that we loved. And we rely on refrigerators day in and day out, but we certainly don't think too much about them, but Sharon Butler sure does. Every day I go in there and I hug it and tell it how much I appreciate it. She's not kidding. So she this loves is. this thing because it works. You see, she had a brand new $3,000 refrigerator. Well. Everything was great for the first seven months. Then one day her fridge was running hot. I mean, very hot. It got so hot to the point where I went and turned the breakers off. And so began the tale of the two refrigerators. They just kept ordering parts. Every time they'd come out, they'd order parts, come back and throw the parts at it and walk away. It still not work. Service guy was out today. The refrigerator's still not working. Well, it'll be a week before we can get them out there again. For months, they lived with a college dorm sized fridge while repairs were being made over and over again. We had to miss all of our holidays because we did not have a refrigerator. This is Susan with Call for Action here at Fox 5. Fed up, she called these volunteers at Call for Action. Men and women who roll up their shirt sleeves and find a fix. And they did it again. And at that point, the ball started rolling to get our refrigerator replaced. But then this same brand name and brand new refrigerator broke down again. And so the ball started again, the 10 service calls, the 10 missed days of work. And about five into it, I was like, mm -mm, I'm not doing this again. And this is when the call for action team leaned in again and got another new refrigerator, this time a new brand and it's still going. At least sometimes it's not what you know, but who you know. So get to know, call for action. If you have a problem you can't solve on your own, they are here to help. They're volunteers. They want to help. You can find them on our website, fox5atlanta.com. You go to the iTeam section and look for call for action. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. So what if you want to volunteer to be a part and of this And they team? would do the exact same thing. Go to our website and the iTeam section and look for call for action. Nice. Uh, they are real problem solvers. Again, folks, volunteers. I love it. And it's so cool, though, too, that you share the stories of what they're actually doing. I mean, if you're having an issue, if something is going on similar to this, it's so right. worth it to reach out. Well, because you also have a calmer voice jumping in saying, hey, all right, everybody. Cool right. Off. Voice of reason. Right? Let me let me handle this. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. important. Doing some good work. Dana, thank you. We appreciate it. Time.